right. Hello. Thanks for thanks for tuning in today. My name is Lance, and today I've got my canvas up eight by ten. I got it taped on the back with some of this so it doesn't fall off. This works super good. Then we can get to the edges and there's nothing in the way. Um, I put my white medium on and uh, we're going to use that today. So hopefully you are having a good day and uh, we'll get started here. I'm going to move the camera into position. Okay. And then we will go. Line this in. Let me get my cheaters out. Okay. And, uh, there. I might zoom it in a little bit. Can you see that okay? I'm trying to get behind it more. So I think that'll work there, huh? There. More straight on. Okay. Let's. There. We're locked in. Here's my palette. I know I'm just going to be close, but just some regular white, sky blue, Prussian blue, crimson, raw umber. Uh, what's that one? It is raw sienna. That's a good color. It's kind of like yellow ochre. And then some, I put some red on there. We'll try that today. Okay. I'm going to start off here with, I'm going to use some, a little bit of Prussian blue. Okay. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to use this lower, this brush today. Okay. There we go. Actually, I might. I'm trying to go faster, so I should be using a bigger brush, shouldn't I? There we go. My liquid medium underneath is getting a little dry. Had it for too long. Just tapping. Okay. Get that in there and just lightly bring it down. Okay. And down here. There. And then we can grab... I'm going to take another brush. Grab a little crimson. A little bit. I'm just going to take and just pull some out and kind of mush it around so you, you don't get the globs of paint on there, you know. I'm just going to lightly go in here and add some color, okay. Maybe we'll bring that down a little bit just to go down to there. There. Bring that into the, we'll mix these together with a different brush. just want to give it some, I like that. Prussian blue, it's darker and it's sometimes it'll make it, uh, um, our clouds will stand out more. You can see where our horizon is right in here. Okay, now I'm just going to go in here and soften all this down here. Doesn't, you don't need a lot of paint when you're, you know, on the hot right there. We don't want any, I'm going to put the yellow in there today. We'll just have a nice, nice sky with some red in it. Crimson, actually, but you can use red, too, in your sky. It doesn't matter. See? So that gives us a pretty good little sky back there. Hopefully my, uh, everything is in line. Okay, then we're going to do some clouds. So I'm going to take and mix up some, take some white, just set it aside here. Set it aside. There, and I'm going to grab a tiny little bit of crimson in there. See? Might be a little too much. Can you see that? There. Come on. Light. Too bright. A little more white. There. Okay. And I don't know, this is just a round brush. <laughs> a round brush, I think. R7. And we're going to come in here. Let's do the clouds this way today. I'm just going to kind of take and come down. And just kind of start mushing them, spinning the brush. Okay. Maybe up here. Maybe this isn't the brush I want to use. Just kind of spinning. You can use any, pretty much any brush you want for clouds. These are a little thin. Okay. Make it a little wider up here. See? Just let it jump around. And... I don't think I've ever used this brush before, but as long as you're, as long as you're uh, spinning the brush, and you should be all right. See, you want them in circles. There. Okay. You bring it up here, widen it up a little bit. Clouds get larger as they get to, towards, you know, up here. You want a little wider. There. 
Okay, then we can break, bring this one in and just kind of blend it a little bit. Thing you can do too is take the bottoms and kind of pull it out a little bit. Let me take some little lines in there. I got this brush here, I'll come in and, okay? Just kind of, you can come in and go like this or whatever, and just go across and kind of soften them up a little bit. I'm gonna get rid of that brush, I don't wanna use it. Let's see here, I'll grab a filbert. Okay, a little filbert brush, better, easier to work with. This paint's pretty dry, I'm using, I don't like this white. And we'll come back in and just on the sides, watch what I say here, you know, just kind of add some highlights here and there. Okay, there, that looks pretty good. Okay, come over to this side, maybe there's one here. You know, same thing, just kind of, you can pull them this way, however you want to do them, you know. And it comes down front there. We'll pick up some of that other color because it's wet, that's okay. I'm grabbing some more white and just, you can pull them this way. Okay, maybe that one comes down a little more. I don't know. How's that look? Okay. Pull them out. Okay, down below here, and there's one here. Just some little floaters up there. There. I'm just kind of pulling to the side, and see that works too. I mean, there's some wind blowing them around. Okay, maybe there's something over here, a little one here. Pull those out way if you want. I don't know, whatever, whatever you want to do. Okay, come back in, twirl them up. Come right here and and pull them that way. See, it just kind of gives them a little, a little bit of style. See. There, those aren't too bad. I think we can get away with those. I'm gonna grab this larger brush that I was using and you can come down here and pull the bottoms out a little bit. Like here, that one can come down maybe. Okay, and you can do this if you want, but I think I'm just gonna, for these clouds, I'm just gonna come in and just kind of soften them. See, that paint's thick. See, you need a little bit there. That doesn't look too bad, does it? And if you want to, so brush. Oh, we can grab a little bit of blue, okay? A little bit of blue and a little bit of crimson. Get some little highlights in the bottom. Maybe get some little darker areas down there. There we go. So now a little more crimson in there. Here, and you can come in and maybe put a little bit of that in there. Just randomly grab them and pull them on the bottoms, maybe. Or here, maybe it comes up in there, a little bit down there. So you can kind of flatten them out. See that? Pull it back into there. And there's your clouds a little. There. Something like that. Come back in with this one and just maybe blend them a little or pull them down. You can do that. Blend them out, whatever. Tickle them, just kind of soften them in there without, you know, without pulling out, and, you know, and ruining your clouds, pull that out that way. There, and they might soften a little bit, but that's okay, there, there. Okay, come back in with this if you want. And see, now it comes a little softer, and just pull them that way, there. Now some of them might go away a little bit, but that's okay. This kind of gives us an idea of some clouds and they got some little dark spots in them. I think that will work just fine. What do you think? Okay. All right. So let's take and not that brush. I'm going to grab. I think this one will do good right here. Oh, this one maybe? Yeah. Let's do this. It's kind of a fan brush looking small one. Okay. And for the distant ones here, I'm going to take some crimson, some blue. Mix it together. I might just use this color right here, okay? Tiny little bit of brown in there. Get some white in there, okay? More white. Get a little more brown in there. There we go. Ooh, more blue, crimson, brown, white. There. More blue. That's what I want, the 
little more crimson. Okay, that might look good. A little more white. I'm running out of white. I'll get some more. Get a little more white in there. Okay, there. And we're gonna come in here, and maybe there's some distant hills right in here. See them? They're kind of gray, aren't they? That's okay. I'm gonna pull them in. Over here, same thing. It's gonna be the first layer. Get a little one there. Okay, I like that. A little more blue in there, maybe. See what you can do? Oh yeah, there we go. Just go grab it on the brush. And these are your first layer of hills we're having. I think I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this brush too. I grabbed. It's just it might work a little easier, giving me some better control. There we go. Make these a little round, you know. That's what I kind of want them to be. See, they kind of stand out. A little distant. That one can come up. There. See? Okay, maybe it comes down into there. I don't know. Pull. Kind of pull that in. Pull these down, kind of let them lighten up, okay? Because we're gonna bring in another, bring this brush in, and lighten them up. See, because we wanna have some light under there. Kind of fade it out, misty, whatever. You can tap, see? And we'll fade it out. There, those ones are a little distant. What do you think? See that, see that blend? It might just kind of softens it, and, and uh, I think it works good. Okay, I'm come back in, and we're gonna put another layer in. Today will be a layers. I'm just gonna add some more blue to it. Okay, a little blue, a little darker, a little crimson. Okay, back in here. Get a little more brown too, I guess. We'll come in front, and there's a little hill there. Don't make them the same, okay? Kind of come in and just same thing. We'll just do a little layer, layers and layers. Maybe that one comes down and there. That got a little hump there, okay? Over here, maybe it comes up here and goes down like that, okay? You see that difference? Oh, there we go. And you can come back in and add color if you don't like it. I like that blue though, it looks better. A little more blue. Blue pushes stuff back, right, in the painting. Okay, there, see, same thing. It's about as easy as it gets. I'm gonna leave a little hole there. The big valley, maybe, just a soft, soft painting. Uh, kind of relax the, the brain, maybe, on a Tuesday. Tuesday. I have lots to do today, so I can't be down here painting all day in my studio. Okay, kind of let it fade down a little bit, and there. And then you can kind of use your imagination, however you want to do that. Okay. Remember, there's white in here too, so I'm just going to kind of want to soften the base. That gives you your distance. Soften, soften, soften. See that? And it's just fun painting here. I'm working on some customs, and oh, I like them, but they have to, they can be challenging. They can be challenging. Now, because we get closer, I want to add um, some more color. That? How many brushes am I going to use today? Hopefully, not as many. Okay, we're getting closer, which means we need to get darker. So, get some more blue, some crimson, a little brown. Blue and crimson, okay? Bring it over here. There, more blue, more crimson. Okay, and you can test your color. It just has to be darker than what's on the palette. Because if it, if you go lighter, then it's not gonna look right. And over here, let's do another one. Here's your next one. Bring that up there. You know, try not to make them even. Just do, see that? Go that way and then down. Maybe down. 
be a hump there. Maybe we, maybe we're thinking of a little river or something coming from back there, right? So we don't want to overdo. Bring it in. Same thing. We're trying to get a nice there. Little. It kind of blends out. I want that up a little bit there. See? There. Bring it down. Bring this one a little farther. Maybe it comes down to here. Okay, this layer. Okay. How are we gonna do this? I don't know. We're just kind of making up. And once you get the edges done, you can just scrubble it in. There. So there, that doesn't look too bad. Lighter, darker, darker. We could add in some. We could add in some black too. But, uh, Prussian blue is a dark blue. I think that's what I used in the sky. Can't remember. Okay. Okay, let's bring over this one. And we're gonna do the same thing. Take that bottom and soften it out. You can go up a little bit too. Okay, see? It doesn't matter what you do below here because we're gonna cover it up in this area, right? Okay. Oh, look at that, yeah. And if you want it a little lighter, get a little touch of white and come down here and do that. As long as the tops are dark. Okay, see, a little bit more mist in there. Not too much though, get a little more, no, there, just, there we go. Wipe it off. I've got several of these brushes so we can, if we need to, oh, we have a brown in there, that's okay. See the top though, dark. And that'll give you your next layer. There. You can come down as far as you want here, okay? There we go again. So oh, it just kind of goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. Go. So let's come back in. And we're getting closer, right? So as we get closer, we need more color. We need more uh, color that's not as saturated. It's going to be more bold. And so with that, we're going to want some green coming forward. So I'm going to take that color. I'm going to add some green to it just to see how it looks. Some brown, some blue, crimson, okay? And this will be a greeny color right into here. And it might come in, yeah, let's see. We're gonna come right in here maybe, see that? Oh, you got some greens, little hill there. <laughs> okay, come down right to there maybe. These are distant. Still far. I like that color. Come over here. You know, and just kind of come back down. Okay, little hill there. There. Can you bring that up a little farther? Now you see why we got the, the mist in there. There. So, who can do this? See? I mean, this is not hard to paint. And these are small canvases. So you got your green there. All kinds of colors coming forward. Dark, 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 light, light, light. And then you got the green. Okay, a little more green on there. See that green? You can brown it down a little bit if you want. This is what you can do. Brown's a duller. See, that even looks a little better, I think. See that? Gives it a little more, not too much. Okay, that looks pretty good. Pull that up a little bit more, right there. Okay, I'm just stepping back and taking a look here. Hopefully this might be a quick one. I got a lot of stuff to do today, so I can't be painting all day. I'm on my last cup of coffee too, so. Okay, that looks pretty good. What's a little graveled? This one again, and same thing, just kind of, you want to pull it down with the, kind of with the lay of the land, right? So let's go this way. There. This one's down, even though we don't know. There. There. What do we think of that? 
pretty good. So I'm trying to think where, where we're going to go here. You know, maybe we can just keep doing some layers. Should we do another layer or should we pull every, push everything back with something, with something different here? Um, I'm kind of at a standstill here. And we could put another layer in front here if you wanted. And that wouldn't be bad either. So let's try this. Okay, we've got everything in there. Let's grab some more green. Darker. Some blue. Some green. More brown. Okay. Crimson. We'll just mix some more on there. And we're going to come in and maybe make a little darker one. So maybe that all looks good. I like that. Um, but I think I'm going to come in here and do a... Okay, what's this? See that? Even darker. Are we going to put some water in here? Let's see here. There. More green in there. There. Maybe this is a field that comes forward. This is kind of hard because I don't have, I didn't do much, uh, come, you know, I didn't sketch too much out. We're leaving a little opening there. The goal here today is not to create a really masterpiece. It's more of a, put some black in there if we wanted. See, there. Let's make that darker than the other one. Pull that down. And maybe there's uh, just a valley there. Maybe there's some water we can come in and put in. Maybe that's what we'll do. I can see what I want to kind of. I want to handle this one. Get a little creative here. Okay. Up here. There. Pull that down. Okay. Want it a little closer, maybe, right there. There. And it comes in there. Gives you a little idea there how it might look. Okay, you can pull that up a little bit there. Pull that one up a little bit more, too. So you got that. So you got another layer. So let's count our layers. That's kind of cool to look at, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six layers. And as you look at it, it kind of, as looking from back here, it kind of is pretty fun to look at. I think it's uh, got some cool stuff on it. So let's come back in and I'm going to have to get a smaller brush. Sorry, 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 sorry. This will work right here. Maybe, 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 maybe. Let's see. Give me some more blue. There it is. Okay. Let's come in and make this look kind of cool. Maybe some blue gray I've got. Some Prussian blue. Let's see how we can make some water in here. Some white. I don't know. Let's try to get some. Should we put some water in here? Let's go back and forth. There's a lake in there. Let's make it stand out. There. You can just do whatever you want. I'm going back and forth. I wonder if I put this palette on right. Or the. I always mark my these so I with a little knot so I know what's up and down. So when I come to the when it's done, it looks good. There we go. Maybe some water down here. Let's go back and forth. You can pick up some of that green too. Water has green in it. It's not like we want the sky. And this is just, see? And it kind of looks good too. I know there's some little inlets way back there, or whatever they call them. Okay, and then we stop there and decide where we're gonna go, how much farther back the water's gonna go, huh? We can leave it there if we want, or we can keep going. But remember, as it gets farther away, kind of dissipates. Hey, okay. it dissipates back there in the distance. Calm, wait. Hey, okay. oh, I should just leave that. And it's kind of blending in with the other colors. You know, and then just. Whoops, it's okay. Oh, whoops, I shouldn't have said that. There, see, maybe it just kind of keeps going. We don't know. Here, darker as it gets closer, darker down here. Watch this. I want to pull it way forward. Pull that down. Grab a little green in there if you want. See? Too much green, but pull that down. Get it to there. See? Blend it. 
back into there. Don't let it sit. There. There, so it kind of gives you depth. Water's getting closer, easier to see. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we've got distance, 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 distance. Now some of these hills as they get closer, uh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna show you a little something you can do. I am going to need a very light brush. I'm gonna use this. Like maybe right here. Come and pull up a little bit. Maybe there's little trees in there. Is that too much? Just lightly pull up, see? And here I'm gonna do the same thing. Let's try something else. That's not quite doing what I want. I need a, let's see, it's a tough one. What am I gonna use? I'm gonna try this one. I know it's big, but I think I can still do it. I don't want them too high. Just barely touch it. See, just create a little bit of a, that works good, this big brush. Pull up a little. Get some little things in there. These are closer. So you might see some, see a little indication to trees and stuff in there. Way back there. Don't overdo it. See, get a little, kind of a little haze in there. And come up here and same thing. That's why we keep that mist in there, right? Because we don't, then there's no separation. I think this is going to be a good tutorial. Oh, you just pull up these little trees in the distance. See that little, can you see them now? Yeah, little trees there and then one there. Should we go one farther? Do you think we can see something on these ones? Uh, let's see. Barely. Even smaller. Just barely touching there. Boy, these are, maybe that looks a little better, doesn't it? Barely touch. Just little tiny little pointers. And then back with pass there, uh-uh. Because if you do too much, it's gonna get, it's not gonna look right. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So, oh gosh, we're gonna have to do something fun here. I'm gonna do something with some. use a lot of this kind of green but I want it to really stand out and I'm gonna have to grab a different brush let's see here I could use this one here I bet yeah okay and we're gonna come in and grab some dark some blue some brown we should mix it up oh that's a good color some green a little bit of phthalo green so it's a dark I'm gonna add another layer here. It's gonna be dark. I'm just mixing a bunch of colors on here. I want a dark color in the front. I'm using some phthalo green and regular green. It's gonna be super dark right in the front. Okay, get a little brown in there. Where'd the crimson go? Crimson will dull down the green. So let's say we have a, okay, no, I didn't want it there. Here, we're gonna have a little. And this is gonna be right up front. So there's looking almost like you're looking down into a little valley. Okay. There, just a little blue. I kind of want some crimson in there too. Where are we at? 29 minutes. I'm out of crimson, so I'm going to squeeze a little more on the palette here. I probably could have thrown some red in there. There's a bunch of red I wasted. Didn't waste it, but let's get a little crimson in there. There we go. And one that's going to go right there. Some brown in there. Okay, I'm just tapping. Tapping. Okay, I want to come back in here. Don't overdo it. There. Dark. See the, the layers? Okay, over here, same thing. We're going to come in here. Okay, 
looking down into a valley maybe, see? Pushing, I'm just tapping. Maybe a little more brown in there. There we go. Don't kill all that dark, yeah? Don't kill all that dark. Maybe it comes up here just a little. But I wanna get that like grass, looking like grass there, okay? There's another layer and that kind of pulls it forward a little more. I'm gonna leave that open because uh, it just gives it some, some fun stuff to look at. And I don't even think really we need to lighten anything up. I mean, come in here and maybe add a little blue, just a little white in there, mix with it, just to <laughs> give a little, yeah, just a little different look. Yeah, makes it look more depthy. So that's the word I'm looking for. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take and mix. Mix up some paint. I need my... Okay. So I'm going to take some of that green. Phthalo green. Some blue. Some crimson. Brown. I'm just going to use it all. Some green. There. What's that? More green. Get some more brown in there. When you're doing trees... You've got to have a lot of paint on your, when you're making pine trees, you've got to have a load of paint on your brush. So hopefully that's enough there. Take a little more of that. Green, I can throw some more blue in there. Okay, just a nice dark color. Make sure I got a lot left over there. Good. So I just mixed up a bunch of dark because of course we gotta have some pine trees and I wanna do them with, I'm gonna try this brush here, see how it works. Okay, just gonna come in. I might use a different one. I wanna go in here and, oh boy, let's see here. Well, yeah, that looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah, pull that down. That kind of looks cool. It almost did it itself, didn't it? And we're gonna come in here, pull that in. A lot of paint. If you don't have the brush loaded with paint, there we go. See that? Sorry, I get a little no noisy, but you gotta have a lot of paint on the brush. They're sticking together. Otherwise, you tap too much. And there's a lot of color on there too. I could have darkened this up a little bit too. Yeah, just want to create a little tree, a little pine tree sitting out there on this ridge. There. Up here, you just barely touch. Probably leave the top alone, huh? Barely touch. If you get them bigger, you can make them larger. They can get out of, you can get out of control with these though. So we'll go easy, just a little bit up there. There. So he's kind of angled, angled. Hopefully that didn't pull it forward too much, but that's fine. Do another one over here. Come in, same thing. I'm running out of paint. I'm gonna have to get some more. There, see? And you get to a point where you're kind of tapping in and oh, there we go. Sometimes you can push up, see that? Push it up like this. Get that on the tip. And you can come in and just bounce around. Trees are pretty easy to paint. I Okay, you got two trees there, sitting there looking all cool. And we can go over the other side. I'm gonna put one in there. Oh, I have to come up here. You don't need too much on there. You can come down. But we just wanna make a nice, okay? You can come back and forth in a Z pattern, whatever. And I'm just tapping. Oop, don't let it slide. That's what I did wrong there. Take your time. Okay. Come back in and kind of finish him off. Make the middle a little stronger. I'm running out of paint. I want to get some more, but I don't. Okay. There we go. Here, just touch. Top. There. See? A little bit there. A little one hanging there. Maybe a big link side coming over there so you've got uh, trees here and I'm just using this uh, 
what is this? Uh, it almost looks like a bright brush or something like that. So you got three trees there, and I think that's all we'll put in today because that's an odd number. Okay, let's go back over here. Da, 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 da. Shoot, you know what? I don't have anything more brown. Let's grab some white. We're gonna use some ochre or some of that sienna and a little red in there. Ooh, too much red. Too much red. Let's wipe that out of the way. Grab some more of that. There we go. There's enough on there. Good. A little white. There, that's what I, that looks all right. A dark color in there. There, darken it up a little. Not too much green. But that's all right. Let's come in here and just come in and put some little indications in. Oh, some trunks. See? There, just something like that. Kind of knock a little of that paint off. I know that's not the best color for a trunk, but come in and gotta have a pretty good hand there, don't you? There, pull that down. So you can't see something on there. And I suppose if you wanted to, you could grab some, a little highlight on there. So I'm just gonna take, I got some light green. Oh, I just, I do have some sap green left on it. I got some light green on my hand. Let's see here. I'll try to get with this brush right there. I'm just gonna touch a little on there. I'm gonna take some sap green, touch a white, not much. I'd save some more of that there and we'll touch a touch of white and this is gonna probably wasn't doesn't gonna want to come off that much where's our light coming from did we establish that on this painting kind of hard to tell but I would say let's say it's coming right down this right up in there it doesn't matter let's tap a little bit on here see those just a little get in there in the middle that just gives them a little color and that looks pretty good actually you don't need as much up high. There. Uh, just a little highlights. Covering some of the trunks. Just use the top when you're doing highlights. You don't have to smash it in like the tree. Okay. Fill that right there. And that gives them a little more a little more color, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. What else should we do here? Um, we've got the trees coming in. You've got the distances. We don't want to block too much more. Um, you got that, the hill kind of pulls it down. So there's a valley down there. Is, is that kind of how it looks? Might have to do one thing here. Maybe bring that down a little more. In front of that. There. See, that might push it back a little more. Make it look a, a little bit better. Use your illusion on these. Whatever you want to do. Okay. And then you've got that other, where's that brush I just had? Got a little highlight on him. Should we put a little bit in here? I don't know if it'll stick that much, will it? Put a little white. And a little bit there. You know what works good for this? Is it really, see, you can do all go this angle. Is a, you can take a, a uh, fan brush. There. And you can take a fan brush and smash it this way I think that works good too just bang 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 okay all right well let's see here we got that that and you can come in and wipe that off maybe grab this and just scratch in some little things you know, little trees and twigs and stuff yeah right here huh I like that pull some of that white through it just gives you some little indications of some little things happening out there. And, okay, so the depth is done. What else What else can we put in this painting just to give it a little, have some fun? Well, let's grab a lighter brush. Actually, let's just use this brush here. And grab some white. Okay. I don't know if I like that color. Maybe I can gray that down, get some green in there. Dull it. And maybe we can come in and use some brown. That's what we need is a little burnt sienna. Looks at it. That's always adds some really good color to a painting. 
I'm just gonna try to make up, grab some of that, and some burnt sienna. There we go. There. And that burnt sienna is also a good color for your trees. Just a tap. Tap a little bit right there. Get a little more color. Okay, just a little bit. There. There. See that? Kind of gives a little more color on the tree there. That might bring it down a little bit, but I want to. I don't want too much of there. There. Okay. Maybe there's a dead tree right in here, or some swigs and stuff that are just popped up, and you know, maybe it doesn't have something like that. Little things happen in there. Okay. See. Come over here, you have a few. They can be just hanging out. Another one there. Just tapping in. Maybe they come down like that. Yeah. Get a little nice and, you know, maybe one here. Just touch. Oh, touch maybe one over here. A little smaller. Just some indications of some things. Just touching. Get that layer on there. Touching. Oh yeah. See? There. So you got some God knows what there. Some trees, some interesting little things there. Maybe, 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 maybe. You can come and you know, pull some limbs off the side. Oh boy. Let's do this one. You know. That's not going to work. Okay. I didn't really want to get out in the liner brush, but I guess we could. Just a paint thinner on there so the bristles stick together and come into that color. Yeah, maybe grab some of that, some blue. I don't know if it's going to stick together. We don't have too much paint thinner. Okay. All right. What else can I do? Okay. We'll just leave that at that. Maybe. Bristles, bristles to stick together that well, but maybe we can grab some more of the sienna. Okay. Kind of wanted to make a few little things sticking out there. There. That might work. A lot of paint on there. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm taking that here. Yeah, maybe there's just some little, you know, little little things coming off of them. Something there. See, just a little, maybe a couple of little more. Something like that. Super thin. Super thin. Maybe just a little bit of something coming there. That's not working. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so we could also try and do this. I don't know. Come in and get a little angle on it and just leave them. I think they're going to be just fine like that. I don't want to monkey around with them today. Okay, so come up here. Those are just some trees that... See this? You can take this. Right on the tip there. Just push up. Line them up. See? And then you get your little more, little more stuff going on there. You got a nice distantly looking mountain some stuff there and if you need to you can come back in with this brush here and some of our dark and just cover up some of these feet see little feet there you know just some little things sticking up some rogue trees <laughs> they don't look bad do they okay and then down here, what else can we do to finish this up? Just looking at it, I think we're good. I don't think we have too much um, left over. Maybe, maybe just a little highlight here and there. I don't know, I think we need it. Put a little yellow in there. Tiny little bit of yellow. So we're gonna put little highlights in there. There. And some yellow. Not much and green and we come in here I'm just gonna open this up and then maybe do a little bit of that right in here see I might need to fix
thin it just a little. It's very, very, a lot of paint on there. there. Push forward and just touch. See, see that paint thinner? Comes in and, oh yeah, look at that. Not much though. Over here, I'm going to have a little bit right down in here. See? Just gives a little highlight. A little more. There. How's that look? Kind of gives you a little more cool look in the grass. Okay. Okay. What else here? I'm kind of bummed out. I'm going to have to use this for my signature here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sign this one and call it good. So basically, what we did today is we just did had a little fun and did some layers. You know, let's count them again: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers on this painting. So uh, not too bad. Sign it. I'm gonna use some red. A little red on there. L. L. E. It's not a very good liner brush, is it? That other one won't spread. P. There. So we're all good there. Hope you guys had a great day. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you again. Bye-bye.